Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com Hi, welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com Today we're going to be making a very straightforward steak and chips. So a beef steak with um, some big chunky french fries and the little sauce we're going to make is we're going to fry some onions, cream, horseradish, a little bit of English mustard, some dried oregano, some garlic, and some salt and pepper. As you can see, I've got a nice couple of little steaks there. They're very small, got a nice little marble in them, so they'll fry nicely. Um, gonna do them really simply and add the sauce. The sauce is gonna be quite rich, creamy, and fiery with the mustard and the horseradish. I've got some um, chunk potatoes cooking now. I'm gonna parboil them before I fry them. That just gives them a little edge and makes them beautiful. Okay, let's get on with this. Simple. So yeah, I've got some salt water here, boiling away. Just gonna do these for, you know, five minutes. I don't want them to be soft really, but just sort of cook through a bit. They fry much nicer. So there you go, let's drain them off in a few more minutes. Set them to one side, then we can fry them. Okay, let's do our sauce. Okay, so I've got a decent sized shallow pan here. I'm gonna drop a little bit of olive oil in there. This is very simple. I've got the garlic. That's about a teaspoon, heap teaspoon, some dried oregano, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Drop our onions in. And you may have noticed I've diced these in a very tiny way. I want it to cook down. I don't want big chunks of onion in there. But look, simply let's just fry this up on a decent sort of medium to high heat. Be back in a couple of minutes and you'll see that these are be nice and cooked and ready for the sauce which is so simple it tastes amazing but it's so simple see you in a minute then okay so that's a couple of minutes you can see that these are starting to cook nicely it smells amazing i mean that's just what's in there now is fantastic but what's this i've got some cooking cream here. it's thick it's called thick cream long life cream you can use fresh cream double cream um this is 250 milliliters Going straight in there like that. Then I'm going to put in my um, horseradish with a little bit of English mustard. The English mustard will give it that little extra kick. We're simply going to mix this up. It's going to be ready in like 30 seconds or so. Right, your sauce is now ready. You won't believe how incredible that is. Yeah. Lovely. Got a nice kick from the mustard and from the horseradish and obviously a nice kind of smooth texture from the cream. The garlic's knocking around in there as well. That's it. Let's now remove our potatoes and get them fried. I want to cook the steak at the last minute. I want the chips ready, our, our chunky fries ready, and this sauce ready, because the steak I want a couple of minutes on each side straight onto the plate. Okay, let's move on to those chips now. Okay, so I've drained off those potatoes as you can see. They're steaming up nicely. Slightly, got a little softness about them, but not, not too much. Right, what we're gonna do next, let me just dry this pan, because I've just dropped a little bit of water in there. Okay, sunflower oil I'm using. I prefer sunflower. I've got my pan here hot. The secret of making chips is hot and plenty of oil. So let's get this in there. I mean, obviously, don't put too much in those. When you put the contents, they'll overflow. Right. There's a great amount of there for deep frying. If you put these in now, while the oil's not hot, you would have disastrous fries, disastrous. So let's get this lovely and hot, and then we'll pop back and uh, get them in there and fry them off. See in a few minutes. Okay, this has been on a few minutes now. Let's just check it out by just dropping one in. 
That's the effect you want. That's perfect, that oil now. It's not too hot. So now you've parboiled these potatoes. So make sure that there's no water in them because obviously water and oil do not mix at all very well. And you can just slowly drop these in. I'll finish off doing this and then um, we'll give them a little stir just to sort of make sure they're okay in there so they're not stuck together. But um, until they're golden brown, I mean, everyone knows what fries look like. See you in a few minutes. These are really nearly done now. As you can see, they got a nice goldenness to them. They're still a little bit white. I'm just gonna cook them a little bit longer. But I'm quite happy with those. They'll be absolutely delicious. So two or three more minutes and then we're done here. All right, here we are. They're looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm simply gonna just put them back into my colander here a sieve this will drain off any excess oil you can if you like then put them on some uh, paper towel kitchen towel to dampen them down I don't really find that necessary once I've done this they'll be fine I can't wait to eat these I really can't amazing So, our next job, which we've got to do straight away, is to cook our steak. So let's get straight onto that right now. There you are. As you can see, look at those. They're fantastic. Okay, so I've got my pan on here, my frying pan. So I'm just going to get this nice and hot. Now, while I'm waiting, as you can see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop a little bit of salt on these now. Just give them a little shake up. They're beautiful. I've got a little bit of salt in there. Don't worry, we need some salt. So, a bit of olive oil. Now. Lots of people cook their steak on a, like, an incredibly hot pan or surface, which is a, it's a terrible idea. We don't want it too, too hot, so this is good. Let's get those in there nice and gently. When it's, when it's too hot, you put the meat in and it basically just, it, it gets very tense and it shrinks and gets tight. So start it off nice and gently. I'm not adding a single thing to this. I've got a little bit of salt, that's it. I don't want to waste this fantastic British steak and cover it with loads of different stuff. So, a little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil. And don't forget that our, um, our sauce is very rich. Cream, English mustard, which is very strong. Horseradish, which has got a real kick. So, we can keep this nice and simple. A couple of minutes each side for me. Um, people who have their steak rare, medium rare, well done, burnt, crispy, whatever. Just do it as you want. I'm going to do mine for a couple of minutes. Um, as you can see, I've got some fat on here. Don't worry about fat on, on steak. It's a wonderful thing, in fact. Especially the marble effect you get in the center of different cuts of meat. So, okay, a couple of minutes, either side, and I think we'll be done and ready to serve it. Okay, while that's going, I'm going to drop in some tomatoes, which I'm going to serve this with, nice and thick. And again, we're just going to toss them around, I don't want to cook the hell out of them. Just a minute or so on each side, maximum.
Okay, so here we are then, that's finished. We've got some amazing chips there, just like my mum used to make, in fact. I've got those beautiful tomatoes, which are just incidentally are from my garden, I'm very proud of them. Beautiful, simply cooked steak, not tense, just a little bit of salt, and we've got that lovely, lovely sauce, which is a cream. English mustard, nice kick to that, much stronger than most other mustard in the world. Horseradish, it's all come together beautifully. You can't get much more British or English than that. I'll see you again next time. Take care, bye bye. HowToCookGreatFood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.